Only on four tonight, a family shares their story of survival. The Hinesdale County Sheriff and his two daughters were in their home sleeping when an avalanche hit. This happened last month near Lake City. They told their remarkable story to our Mountain Newsroom reporter, Matt Kroschel. We are definitely feeling very fortunate, blessed that God took care of us. Standing together, the Casey family is closer than ever before because of what they've survived together. Suddenly it, it seemed like the house exploded. I was completely enveloped in moving snow. Justin Casey, his daughters Christy and Sarah, all inside this home as a wall of snow and debris smashed down on them. I was sleeping and I heard a bang and I jumped out of bed. Then I felt the house, I felt like it was falling and then I was knocked unconscious. Later, I remember waking up in the snow and I was just praying and trying to get out. I knew right away it was an avalanche and I just started swimming for all I was worth. When the snow stopped moving, Justin was outside. He ran for a radio in his truck and then back to the pile of debris where his house used to stand. They were both buried in the snow underneath some rubble of the house. I heard dad walking over me. I did not hear him yelling. Their physical injuries continue to heal. Dealing with the emotions, though, has taken a little more time. But the Casey's are leaning hard on this community, getting strength through the love they're being shown. This community has been incredible for us, reaching out, supporting us, helping us out. It was a moment of taking it in, taking a deep breath, and then going forward and doing what we needed to do. Staying positive and looking to the future. You really learn what you do and don't care about when you're told your entire house is lost. It's just kind of a, well, what do you really care about? What do you want to replace? When things get tough, they pull together. A lot less snow here. The temperature's warming up. Now the attention turning to the possibility of some pretty bad flooding later on this spring. But if the last month has shown us anything, this community is ready for it together. Reporting in Lake City, Matt Kroschel, covering Colorado First.